Oh my God, what is this outfit? Seriously, what is this, guys? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. Just a little recap of the last episode. In the last episode, I did a recap of what had happened for a month span because I had allowed some time to pass between the last episode and the one before that. So basically everyone is still in mourning from Princess May's death. Princess Amira has run away. As I mentioned in the last episode, she ran away to Granite Falls and the king knows where she is. King Henry, he's like kind of been having people keep an eye on her, but she has not come home yet. And it is Prince Kelly's birthday in this episode. So we're going to see if she comes home for his birthday. And then also in the last episode, we had Prince Louis of Willow Creek propose to his longtime girlfriend, Lady Corinne of Brindleton Bay. So they are now engaged and she is meant to be the future queen of Willow Creek. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to their wedding when we do that as well. That probably won't be for another few episodes, but I will be having that pretty soon so I'm so so looking forward to that so in this episode as I mentioned it is Prince Kellen's birthday so we are going to be doing just a little small something for him and then we're also going to focus a little bit on the royal family of Sulani so if you're excited for this video give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's go ahead and play the royal family Okay, so I did mention in the last episode that Prince Kellen does not want to do anything for his birthday because he's still very sad about what happened to his sister, Princess May. So he's still in, been in mourning, but I feel like King Henry and Queen Evangeline, they have kind of insisted that they do just something with the immediate fam or something with the family and also like King, King, yeah, King Henry's sisters, Princess Anna and Queen Cora of Willow Creek and like their families just because he wants his son to kind of like like allow like life to keep going like obviously his he's still sad about this too that was his daughter but he just like it's been a while it's been like over a month so at this point he's like look we're just going to do something very small so obviously Prince Kellen is very very unhappy and I feel like the only thing he really wants is for Princess Amira to come home so I honestly don't even know if she's about to come home but I've already kind of scheduled a small little family get-together for them that's supposed to start at nine, which is like literally in like a, a sim minute. There we go. Okay, so birthday party is about to get begin. So let's start. So the family is going to be coming over, and then I am. Well, no, I am going to have Queen Evangeline change back into her morning outfit, just because I still feel like they are wearing their their all black and morning clothes. Um, and then we also have. I, I have the other like our family also kind of wearing more like darker colors too so uh, we'll see if they actually show up in it though because like right now it looks like princess diana is not wearing hers and i did have one for her too so i am going to change that for her oh nope that's her party outfit so i'm going to change that for her as well and then i have queen ava she is baking the cake so i need to make sure i put birthday candles on this like right away before somebody eats it okay so i've added the birthday candles i did also forget that we have like plenty of time for this birthday party because i have the um the cheat that like allows it to be like unlimited time for birthdays which is always really nice so here we have our little toddlers i if we have time i might I don't think we're gonna have time, but if we don't in this episode, then I'll do it in the next episode. I want to have like a little toddler play date with them because I haven't actually used the toddler pack that I just bought. So I want to do like something small with them, with them and Laura J from Oasis Springs because he's about their age and he's still a toddler. I think he's still a toddler. He's actually supposed to turn into a child very, very soon. So we'll see if he does. Also, I have, so I've invited like, obviously like Princess Anna's daughters. We have Lady Ezra and Lady Lady Aurora and Lady Sadira. I think that I might age up Lady Sadira. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Because I think it's almost her birthday, but I don't think it is quite yet. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait. We'll, we'll just have to see. We also have Lady Aurora. She has aged up into a teenager. So I don't think you guys had seen her yet. So she was still a child, but she has aged up into a teenager now. So we are going to just have them 
code talked to her too. So she's a teenager, which is why I'm pretty sure Lady Sadira was not born too long after her. So she should be aging up very, very soon as well. So that's why I was thinking. Also, apparently we have a nanny and she's here, but like, I don't know why she's still here because we don't really need her at the moment. But I mean, it's fine. I think she's wearing like a Christmas sweater, but it's springtime right now. So she seems a little strange. It might just end up changing her outfit if she's gonna decide to hang out here for a while. Also guys, okay. So I was looking at, so I haven't done any Thing or like added a crib because I was actually debating just like getting a new castle all together because I I love the inside of our castle like it is so ideal for me like having just big spaces and like not too much clutter like I don't like a lot of clutter in in like castles because some of them are like really complicated and there's just a lot going on so I love like the inside of our castle I don't love the outside still I like did some renovations and stuff I don't know maybe it's just like the wallpapers I'm awful at choosing wallpapers papers and stuff for like palaces and all that so I don't know I I like it but I don't love it it's just like okay so let's go into the gallery because there are some seriously cool stuff in the gallery like if you go to like castle in the gallery I'm in like most popular right now I mean look like look at this one this is crazy this is insane this looks so so cool like the inside of it though it just doesn't look very like like big I don't know it just kind of seems like a little squished but it's just it's so amazing you like this one castle winters this one looks amazing this it just it, like the outside of it looks really complicated the inside doesn't look horrible but i i don't know i just i feel like like how am i supposed to justify like oh suddenly we have a new castle like it's a sims game so it's fine but like i'm thinking maybe waiting until kellen becomes king because i feel like he's like oh we need a new castle but then i just feel bad like completely replacing a castle and i would do more renovations i'm just not right at them like i want it to look like something like this or like i'm trying to see what else like we could just do like palace or something because they have some guys like such such cool things like this one is so cool too so i just i don't know i might get a new castle i might not i'll still think about it that's why i've been like waiting to do a crypt because i don't want to like do the crypt and then end up just replacing the entire castle anyway so that's why i'm just holding off on it for now i know some people were like they really want me to do like a crypt thing someone wanted me to do like a day of a dead a day of the dead where i like i guess like build the crypt and then like kind of I just like focus on the people who have like passed away and maybe like take a look at the the royal family tree again which like i'll definitely do another royal family tree episode i'll probably wait until more of this generation of royal kids have their own kids so I i'm definitely gonna wait till then to do that but uh, i don't know guys there's just there's such cool things i'm like in love with some of these castles so i just wanted to like bring that up because i didn't really know what to do like our castle's cool i guess i i think i just like, whoa, guys, what is happening? What is this glitch happening? <gasps> whoa, uh, okay. Oh, wait, oh my gosh. Is that coming from Lady Aurora? Oh, God, I don't like that. Okay, well, at least she looks fine, like, from here. But, like, maybe it's the dress that I had picked out for her. Yeah, I'm not loving, I'm not loving that thing that's happening to her. Yeah, what the heck is this? <gasps> ah, oh my God, you guys. <gasps> Should I, like, can I reset? It's probably just the odd... Oh, reset debug. Oh, where did she go? Oh, okay. Well, now she's upstairs and she's still glitching. So that didn't work. But yeah, okay. Well, hopefully that won't last long. I think it's probably just the outfit she's wearing because I don't think that's ever happened before. So anyway, okay. So yes, so we have Prince Kellen. So now it's his birthday. Oh, I had definitely had Lady or Princess Anna or Marchioness Anna um, wearing the all black too. I just feel like like they these families have not been wearing all black lately because I just because they're not in the immediate family i feel like they're not like really in mourning anymore but out of like respect for princess may's family i feel like they decided to wear like the darker colors to be in mourning too because that this family's in mourning so they want to be respectful because i mean they they love them like princess or marquis anna marchioness anna whatever her name is she is like their favorite aunt i mean queen cora is pretty awesome too but marchioness anna like lived with them for a while too and obviously like their cousins like these are all like they're all so close too and then okay uh princess anna uh, Mira has not come back yet and I was kind of really thinking that she would by now and then 
for Prince Kellen to, uh, he's, I mean, he's a teen, it's his birthday right now, I think he might age up automatically if we don't age him up, so, I don't know, I was really hoping that Princess Amira would come home by now, because I think this might be some serious, like, issue for Prince Kellen. I don't know, guys, I thought she'd be back by now, I was really hoping she would, maybe she will soon. Oh, and then this is Lady Ezra, maybe we will age up Princess, or not Princess, Lady Sidira first? I, I also, I do need to change, um, Lady Ezra is close because I definitely had a different outfit picked out for her too because I had all black for her also picked out. Maybe we will just age up Lady Sadira for now and then I'm hoping that Princess Samira comes back soon because I really thought she was going to but apparently not. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see age up Sim and then we will age up Lady Sadira. I'm so excited for her to become a teenager, you guys. Okay, so Lady Sadira is aging up now into a teenager. I am so excited. I definitely wanna keep this curly hair she has too. Cause that, oh, well, okay, well, it doesn't come out with curl. Oh my God, what is this outfit? Seriously, what is this? Guys, I hate the outfits that they have for them. This is ridiculous. I am definitely 100% going to be changing her outfit. I don't even have to go into create a sim for that. I can just like, do it from this this wardrobe thing. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's change the outfit of Lady Sadira because I do not want her to wear this. I'm just gonna do this real quick because I know I definitely want to focus on the royal family of Sulani in this episode too. So I'm just gonna do this really fast and I'll show it to you guys. Okay, guys, I have finished picking out uh, Lady Sadira's outfits and oh my god, I love her. You guys, she's beautiful. This might be like a little bit mature because she's just like a teenager right now. So I was trying to go for more teenager ish things like like this right here i kind well no this is not really what a teenager would wear but she's still a lady and like let's face it her mother is barchidus anna who was so extra when she was a child not as much as princess amira but like still pretty extra so i feel like she might be taking after her mother a little bit and being like super super girly and fashionable like such a fashion icon i feel like she really is going to be a fashion icon so this is ladies and dear so this is her formal outfit i what okay you know what this hair is probably not working because her hair I went with something a little bit shorter and curly. I just, there's really not that many options, guys, especially for like curly hair with an updo because there's like a few things that I kind of use for Princess Leilana's hair, but I don't really want to use the same things for her hair. So I really can't, oh, well, this is also just like formal. So that kind of gets rid of a lot of the hairstyles, but I could not find very many options because I want to like still have her curly hair. And I feel like that like still, stuff like this doesn't really show that she has curly hair. Ooh, guys, this one, do I have someone wearing this? I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's just go with this one. I feel like this one is fine. I mean, this is her formal outfit. We don't even know if we're gonna really see her in her formal outfit anytime soon, but oh, this one's so pretty. And then I have picked out like an all black one just for this event in particular. So yeah, oh my God, guys, she's beautiful. I love, oh my God, I love her. She's go, I need to make her the queen of something. I love her, you guys, I love her so much. Okay, so, oh, <gasps> Guys, <gasps> wait, Princess Amira's back. Oh my God, she came back. You, oh, she's still feeling very sad. Oh, but she came back for Prince Kellen's birthday. Oh, Prince Kellen's happy now, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have him say, he's gotta, he's gotta hug her for sure because she's back and I feel like this has seriously made him feel so much better. Cause I feel like he really did think that she wasn't going to come back for his birthday. So he needs to give her a hug. I think everyone needs to give her a hug because she's been gone for like over a month. So this is like a really huge deal. I feel like she she's still very, very sad. So it might take still a while for her to kind of like get back to it. But I feel like she'll be she'll be okay for now. So um oh okay, I need to change you back, change outfit into the outfit you were wearing because you're so more Morning too. So everyone needs to hug her, you guys. Oh, she's back. I, I seriously had no idea when she was coming back because I had like made her go to like Granite Falls for a while and I wasn't even sure how many days I had set it at. And then like, I wasn't sure if it lined up with Prince Kellen's birthday at all. I technically, it, technically his birthday was like yesterday, but we're still having the birthday party right now. So I feel like it's fine. So now that Princess Amira is back, I think I'm gonna have Prince Kellen. Uh, he's going to blow out the candles. Oh, Oh my gosh, I can't believe she made it back in time for him to like have his actual birthday.
birthday. That actually makes me really, really happy, you guys. I honestly had like no idea if she was gonna come back. So, okay, so we, oh wait, what was I gonna do? This is Queen uh, Cora. So I was just going to change her outfit too. So change outfit. Okay, I think this is the first birthday party where I have not had an issue with the birthday cake. So that makes me really, really happy. I just made sure to add the birthday candles on like as soon as possible. So I'm glad that we did that. Okay, so now Prince Kellen has aged up. So I actually did change some of his traits and Princess Amira's traits because it made sense to me that their traits would change after such a tragedy of like losing their sister. So I, his aspiration before I think was like a friend of the world or something like that. I changed it to Big Happy Family because I feel like his family like means so much more to him now. I mean like it did before. I mean, he's already lost his mother and stuff too. So he still had the outgoing trait and I feel like I'm gonna keep that too. I forgot that he's active too. So that's another thing. I think though, I'm going to give him now the gloomy trait because he's had like such tragedy happen to him in his life that I feel like he would 100% get the gloomy trait. So I'm going to give that to him. And then I also changed some of Princess Amira's traits too. So she had hot headed and she had self absorbed. So I changed those because I feel like this definitely would change her personality of like what happened with Princess May. So I kept the proper trait. I gave her the family oriented trait and also gave her the big happy family, wherever that is, the big happy family aspiration because I feel like the same thing as Prince Kellen. And I gave her the paranoid trait because I feel like after what has happened and like losing her mother and losing, like she was old enough to remember losing her mother and like losing her sister and like all that stuff too. I feel like she would get the paranoid trait. Like she feels like something could happen to her loved ones like at any moment so I thought that was very fitting so I gave that one to her too so as you can see the personalities have changed she's not self-absorbed anymore so that's a huge thing too so she also has like a, just like a ton of traits oh I want to see what Prince Kellen got he got the responsibility and a responsible and good manners trait. I was really hoping he would get the empathetic trait, but it doesn't look like he did. I was like trying to get him to volunteer as much as possible. So it doesn't look like he did get that, but that is okay. Okay guys. So, I, well now Prince Khaled is feeling happier too. I feel like he's still in mourning. Obviously he still misses his sister a lot. I feel like this whole family is going to be in mourning for a while, especially Princess Amira, just because she feels like a lot of this is her fault. And I got really good responses about the kind of end bonus scene in the last episode too. That was so much fun to make. So I'm glad that you guys really enjoyed it because that's the style that I want the History of Windenburg video to be like. And that one, I, oh God, I was working on it and I was like halfway through. And then I was like, these camera controls like suck. Like it, it's kind of rough. Like I want it to be like a movie style. And I looked it up and figured out how to do it in movie style. So it's probably going to take a little longer than I thought. Thought it would but I will have that out at some point we'll see so I feel like we're gonna end this birthday party now you guys got to see Princess Anna's children and we got to see all of our cousins and everything too so now Princess Amira is back she's still feeling very very gloomy and depressed but at least she's back and at least she's home. So that's a huge, huge thing. So Princess Amira's back guys, I'm so glad. I feel like, like honestly, they, I, I feel like Prince Kellen was very against having like his whole family and stuff over, but I feel like he's got that his family was over when Princess Amira came back too. So this is like her big homecoming kind of thing. Even if it is Prince Kellen's birthday, it's definitely like a big celebration for her to be home too. I feel like King Henry is probably really glad now that she's home. Oh God, I didn't realize how much his hair was clipping his crown. I feel like now he could use a haircut and now he'll probably shave because his daughter's back. Like he's getting his children back and things are kind of getting back into shape. So I do need to have him cut his hair and cut his beard off pretty soon too. I am going to leave this family here. I am going to go ahead and go to the royal family of Sulani. Okay, so we are at the royal family of Sulani's house at, or palace. I have not done the renovations that I said I was going to like a really long time ago. Oh my God, every time I'm here though, I just like admire the beauty like of, this world it's amazing this is this is my favorite world i think windenburg has always been my favorite world i think now though i mean it's such a different world though so i feel like it, it's very very different but oh my gosh guys it's oh it's so so pretty okay princess leilana has actually just aged up into a young adult and she is so i mean like she i feel like is definitely preparing to become the queen slash chief of sulani she guys and i mentioned this a while ago too because she's kind of already been on dates with uh, with 
so with Lord D or no, not Lord Dean. I'm sorry. With Lord. Oh God. Oh my God. It's Lord Jaden. I always forget his name. Um, so with Lord Jaden and with Prince Jack, things didn't really work out with either of them. She actually, and in the last episode when I was showing you guys Prince Jack, he still had a relationship with Princess Liliana, but I have made it so they've asked each other to just be friends. So she still has really good relationships with them. So I feel like they just realized like they were all just better as friends. But okay, so she has a small relationship or romantic relationship with Earl Dean. And so he's already an Earl. So it looks like I, I think I can just see if I go into like travel because I just want to see their household. So Dean, he is actually let's let's go here. Yeah. Okay. So he has become the Earl because his father had passed away. So his father was originally the Earl. And now he's the Earl. However, if he were to marry Princess Leilana, he would become the, I guess technically just the prince of Sulani. And then technically he would probably give his title to Lady Arya, which is his younger sister. And Lady Arya is actually dating Prince Jack. So Prince Jack and Princess Leilana they like almost dated they like went on a date and then Prince Jack actually ended up dating Lady Arya and now Princess Lilan has a romantic relationship with her brother Earl Dean so that's it just happened like that that's just how it happened so I think that was very very funny but I do want to since there is a little bit of a romantic relationship I think it's important that he comes over and meets her parents because I don't think he has yet so I think we're going to invite him over for for, I don't know if we're going to do a couple, but basically what we did with Makai and Amira, how we had invited Amira over to meet Makai's parents. So we're going to plan a social event. I'm just going to invite him over for technically a dinner party. It's 10 a.m., but you know what? They'll, they'll have fun. It'll be fine. So we're going to do the, uh, where to go? We're going to do a dinner party and then I don't need it to be a gold event. I think it's fine. So dinner party and then the host, we're all going to be the host, the royal family of Sulani, and then our guest is going to be Earl Dean. So he's going to come over and I, uh, I guess they could have a caterer. Do they have a butler? I don't remember actually if they do. So that I, I need to add that if they don't. Um, okay. So they, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know why I did the caterer because I feel like it's very tradition for them to just kind of make their own food. Did I also turn off their uh, fame walk yet? Because I don't like it when they walk like that. Yeah, we're going to use a normal walk style because I don't feel like the royal family of Sulani would be like that like kind of use that that like kind of fancy walk style sort of thing i feel like they're very different so i'm just gonna have them all use their normal walk style okay and then i feel like princess leilana or i need to change her name actually because it's just lana right now so rename okay and then i'm going to have her be the one to kind of Oh wait, why can't I? Okay, I was like, oh my god, I can't exit out. Um, oh, and her uncle Lotu is here too. I don't think he's like here, here, like at the party, but they like live next door to them. So I think that's fine. Okay, Earl Dean is very, very dressed up. I never gave him any like Sulani inspired clothing, which is fine because he like just started seeing Princess Leilana. So I think that's fine for now. I'm gonna have Princess Leilana. Oh wait, that's not the, oh no. Okay, this is, this is where they cook things. Oh, someone's already, oh wait. Someone Someone's already cooked something. Cool. Okay. I'm just going to grab that then. That's very helpful that it's already made. Let's see. What did they make? They made, what is this? Island vegetable feast. Yum. Okay. So they made an island vegetable feast. This is kind of their little outdoor dining area. I should have made the one in the middle, like a little bit more like special, but this is kind of what they do for parties. But I feel like they're actually going to be eating indoors in their dining room because this is a beautiful dining room. And like, what's the point of having it if you're not going to use it? So I don't know where Earl Dean went. Where did he go? I just saw him. Okay, I just teleported him here. So I need King Mahaka to introduce himself to him. So we're going to do a friendly introduction. And then Queen Lokalani also is going to do a friendly introduction. Oh my god, guys, her grandmother is here. Oh my gosh, King Mahaka's mother and Princess Leilana's grandmother is here too. Was she the one who cooked all that? Oh, I wonder how old she is. How much longer does she have? Whoa, whoa, days left. 500 what? 575, including 140 bonus days? Is this woman like invincible? Oh my gosh. What? That's 
Wait, days left. That is so long, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so long. Or is that like how old she is? I'm confused. I'm a little bit confused. Oh, she's gonna like outlive everyone. My goodness gracious. Okay, well, apparently this is, I mean, I feel like I've like known people like that where people are like my, my mother like or grandmother like will never die. Like they're so strong. I feel like that is her grandmother for sure. So that is so, so funny. Oh wait, she just got really sad. Morning, Princess Lilana is missing a friend that passed. Oh, she was really close with Princess May. So I think that's kind of what the, the thing is right there. Although I didn't realize she had the sad bomb. Honestly, I don't like that she does. They get the emotional quirk things like the, yeah, I think because it's one of the celebrity quirks or something like that. Um, They get them so easily. Like if they're sad for like a few hours, they'll like get it and it's really, really irritating. So I'm going to delete that because I, I'm sure there's a mod out there that allows you not to have that. And I would like to find that mod. Um, So, okay, the parents are, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you guys floating? in front of him. You guys should not be doing that. What are you doing? Okay, so the parents have met him. We are going to call people to the meal. It looks like her grandmother might, oh my gosh, her grandmother is cooking everything. Oh, that is a real grandmother right there. Like my grandmother, I'm actually going to my parents' house tomorrow because my grandparents are, are in town. She cooks for everyone. That's like their way of showing love. So I think that's so funny. Okay, well, her grandmother has just cooked more food. So I'm going to also bring this meal to the table and then we are going to call everyone to the meal and i think her grandmother might actually be joining them too okay they're all sitting now and her grandmother did join them that's so so funny so she's meeting him for the first time too and i'm sure her opinion has a lot a lot of impact on her as well so let's go ahead and brighten day and then they definitely are probably go oh gosh hey bubble stop Bubbles was just like in our bathroom. He's not supposed to be in there. You know you're not supposed to be in there. Okay guys, this is my little troublemaker right here. You look so guilty too. He knows he's guilty. I think it's funny you guys only see him in like calm like versions of him because he's actually very hyper and very sassy, but you guys get to see the calm versions of him. Um, So, okay, well, it looks like the meal is over, but I am going to have them ask some more questions to Earl Dean, which he's going upstairs. He should not be going upstairs unless Queen Logalani is up there but we're going to, oh, you know what? I mean, like, obviously he's not a mermaid, but maybe we should ask him if he's a mermaid. So the whole deal thing, so if whoever Princess Leilana marries, if they're not from the uh, the Sulani world, they would definitely get a, um, I feel like, well, like a Sulani name, like a Hawaiian name. Um, and I feel like that happens in real life. Like I, like I have my own Hawaiian name too. And then Jake has a Hawaiian name. And so is Jake's brother, like their whole family kind of does. So I feel like it's very much tradition. And if you were to marry Princess Leilana, you would definitely get a Hawaiian name as well. He's like, mermaid, what gave you that idea? I'm definitely not a mermaid. Earl, you know, already knows about their family being mermaids. I feel like the, like the whole world does. And actually it'd be interesting to have someone like maybe try to like, like a, not like a bad mermaid, but someone try to like figure out the whole mermaid thing and like kind of, I'm trying to like, you know, like in Frozen with like the Duke of Weaselton, like he's so like, he becomes the villain because he's like so interested in, El in Elsa's like ice powers. I feel like it's kind of a similar thing if that makes sense. Like people being interested in them being mermaids, and, like trying to like know the secret about them and like knowing they have powers and like maybe trying to like, kidnap them or something. So that would be interesting if that happened in the future. Oh no, uh-oh, I, I see friendly relationships going down, you guys, it's not a good thing. I, I mean, like things seem to be going okay with them. So I we're gonna like have her boast about family. Maybe do a joke or something, be funny. Cause I mean, the queen can be funny too. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so yeah, they would get a whole, uh, like a Hawaiian name and then whoever she marries would also, there would be like the ceremony at the wedding and they would turn into a mermaid by eating the mermatic kelp, which honestly, do we have any left? because I don't even know if we do. Um, I think Queen Lokalani had them. We have one left, you guys. Okay, one rheumatic help. She, only, she better only get married once. They can definitely search for some more, but that would be what whoever, or whoever she marries, that would be what they would eat so they could become a mermaid too. So I decided that for like their royal like wedding ceremony. I mean, I'm really excited to have a royal wedding for them too, because it would just be like such a different theme. Um, oh gosh, guys, Princess Leilana is feeling super, super flirty. And no, no, don't swim around you you have you have to entertain like people here like you're the one hosting okay so let's go ahead and ask about day i honestly think things are going really really well with them i feel like maybe king mohaka would take 
um, Earl Dean to the side and kind of like give like give him a talk saying like like this is their only child too. I think this is the only royal family where I've only had one child. I just didn't think it was very like tradition for them to have a lot of children. Like I don't think anyone in Sulani has more than two children. Um, so I feel like this is like going to be very very important to him. Oh no, wait, why romantic or not romantic? Friendly relationships are going down. Um, but maybe ask him to cloud gaze. So you're, he's gonna he's gonna get Earl Dean alone and give him just like the talk of like if you want to date my daughter like these are the standards like she's going to become the queen she's going to be or the chief she's going to become the chief of sulani so like these are kind of like the rules that need to happen okay so king mahaka is talking to earl dean and definitely just giving him the talk that i just told you i feel like earl dean so he's actually not a lot older than princess helana but he's been a young adult for a while so he's probably like going to be he might be turning into an adult like fairly soon um so i feel like he's definitely well versed He's very mature. He's always kind of been really mature. Um, and I feel like he is going to tell King Mahaka, like, you don't have to worry. Like, I really care about your daughter. Like, we haven't been together for very long, but I can already see, like, how amazing she is. And, like, if anything were further were to happen, like, I would definitely be there to support her and stuff, too. So I feel like he's definitely a very, very good candidate for Princess Leilana. So I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like King Mahaka and Queen Lokalani really, really like him, too. I think he would be great. He definitely is going to have to get accustomed to the style of Sulani. So I'm going to have Princess Le Leilana, since things are going so, so well, um, I feel like she's going to be like, okay, dad, can I have this guy back? Like, can I get some alone time with him? Cause she's a young adult now too. It's not like she's a teenager and it's just being like a very overprotective dad. Her parents are so laid back compared to all the other royal families and compared to Makai's mother too. Like they are so laid back. Makai's mother is actually King Mahaka's sister. So it's just interesting to see like the different personalities, but I feel like he's definitely not as overbearing and protective as she is for sure. Okay, so she's asking her father like, okay, can we get some alone time now? So I'm gonna have King Mahaga go, go talk to your mother or something because you need to give them alone time. Go ask your mother about her day. And then I am going to have, since things are going so, so well, I'm definitely going to have Princess Leilana ask Earl Dean to be her boyfriend. Okay, so King Mahaka's left him alone. So now their romantic relationship is going up a lot. So now I am going to ask her to be, I'm gonna ask her, have her ask him to be her boyfriend. Okay, she is asking him now and he said, yes, you guys, they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. <gasps> Yay, okay, so Princess Leilana now officially is dating Earl Dean. And oh guys, I want them to have their, like I already want them to get engaged. So I might wait a few episodes before we do that, but we're gonna have them wait a little bit. Oh, and then her grandmother is like here like oh i thought she was gonna like talk to them and congratulate them but okay guys now they're dating so this episode has gotten really long so i do need to end this here but i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm actually about to film the next episode of the royal family so i uh, if, if, if like any comments you leave here i probably will i won't see for, like for a while but i just like have like an empty day so i'm like excited to like do this stuff and actually like film some more videos for you guys so i'm about to go film that but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode in the next episode we're going to focus a little bit more on the toddlers because I definitely want to have a little like toddler play date with like Prince with all the like the royal toddlers of Windenburg and with Lord of Jay of uh, Oasis Springs so you guys will get to see that in the next episode but if you enjoyed this give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications in the next episode I will also go through some of the comments from the last episode because I forgot to do that in this episode so we'll do that in the next episode but I will see you guys in the next video bye